God. My bloodstream is in bad shape. Yeah, that's better. Not many T cells left. Poor things. They couldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> well, it's clear they've given up. They're not even trying to work together. My B cells. They look so ashamed. They can't even produce a decent antibody anymore. What a bunch of losers. Hey, who is this? Why are you scaring everybody? Hey, hey, you, bully. Stop picking on my immune system. Excuse me, but have we been properly introduced? Get out of my blood. I'd love nothing more. I haven't had a decent conversation in months. Your monocytes are monosyllabic. Your red cells are rednecks. And as for the other viruses, well, does the phrase more wine with your dinner mean anything to you? Zero? What the dickens are you up to? It's HIV. What? HIV? You destroyed my immune system. You killed me. Like it or not, despite all the research, despite billions of dollars, not one reputable scientist has proven absolutely and conclusively that I disable people's immune systems. Well, if you didn't kill me, who did? Look around. Your blood is chock full of all these big-headed, sick-making pathogens who want the credit. I couldn't agree more, Miss HIV. Smart people now think I'm the real cause. Nonsense! All the best research points to me. AIDS is actually untreated tertiary syphilis, darlings. Oh, all this focus on the immune system, really. I'm the one who makes people go blind. I'm the one who actually kills. <laughs> Maybe it's some special combination of the four of us. Join hands and kick, darlings. We'll do the cofactorial conga. <laughs> Miss HIV, what about all the safer sex business? Hmm? Safe sex is vital. You, of all people, should know that, Zero. For better or worse, that famous, flawed cluster soap opera you started back in 1982 convinced everyone that safe sex is crucial. Well, that story proved I brought hate to North America. That data merely documents that you slept with some men who slept with some men, etc., etc., etc. But it takes much longer than that sometimes as long as 10 years to manifest chronic symptoms. The men I slept with might already have been infected? Exactly. They might even have infected you, for all we know. Well, then I wasn't the first. Of course not. Scientists have since documented cases of AIDS in North America at least as early as the 60s. Most importantly, why should it matter who was the first?